All right. Well, I'm going to take my friend Hank's advice and put this on a towel so I don't scratch it anymore. And right now I am just going to insert the gas tank onto the intake of the carburetor. This plugs into there. I'm not even going to use a, I was going to use a, a cable clamp, but I don't think it's necessary. Uh, pliers. Where'd they go? There we are. So thanks Hank for that. I get going and I just get going. I'm sure you think I'm crazy, Hank. See, I gotta go a little further because it's it's arcing, it's arched up a little bit. Well, where are we? Right there. Okay. Now let's just turn this on its side, and we should be able to mount that tank. Lovely. Wouldn't this be nice if I don't have to do it twice? <laughs> so I get good good advice from my online pals. Yes. So there's one, two. I think there's just four screws holding that tank on there, guys. Good. Okay, let's make sure there's no other screws for that tank. Something tells me there was one more. <coughs> now, this tank is connected to the carburetor, which is connected to the needle and seat. So I should be able to blow into this gas tank and get some pressure. You betcha. Alright, now that's starting to look like a chainsaw, eh? But first I'm going to have a look at the points themselves. I know they've been cleaned. It almost looks like Tecumseh stuff, you know? Okay. <clears throat> this is an actual burnishing tool. I'm going to measure the distance between the point, the resistance of the point. Right? This meter is probably 30 years old now, but it works. Okay, I'm just working on the points here, and uh, I think this is the this is the better set. I've got everything disconnected so that the capacitor doesn't affect the readings across the points or the coil, and I've got a reading right across the points right now, and it is one ohm. And when I open them up, they go open. If I push them a little tighter. That's about right. Okay, let's check the other one. The other one's still disconnected. We might as well do them both. Got two sets, right? This one says 1.0 ohms. 
and open. So it, it really is the same, but this one has a marked coil from the flywheel and no end where the spark plug goes, right there. So I'm going to build these points right here. So now it, it's just a matter of being really careful not to upset the apple cart too much, right? This lead here, this black lead, is the shutoff lead from the switch. And it just puts a ground on everything and turns everything off. And just by the shape of things, I can see this one goes on first, this one goes on second, and we have kind of a miniature Bellevue washer, Stella. And we put a nut on there. This is very exciting to me. So I'm mounting the condenser slash capacitor right now. <coughs> Oh, oh, what I wanted to do is show you both capacitors are okay. This is how I do it. I don't have a capacitive reading on my on my meter, but if, if you just measure the capacitor one side to the other, and it, it takes the meter about three seconds to, 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 to go to open, you know your capacitor is okay. That's all I'm doing there. So I'm just going to screw these back together and I'll come back. Alrighty, we're going to mount these uh, points into here. Now, and you know, once again, there's 500 things that are mounting this at the same time. Uh, like that. So this goes on here like that. And yeah, you guys can see pretty good. And that. I just think goes on there like that. We might need this last bolt. did not come from the other saw. The flywheel key. Hey, Alright, the points are set up and even with the condenser in there I can read a resistance change when the points close. So I'm happy. So now we still have the uh, barely have <laughs> the flywheel key in there. Trying to flatten out the flywheel key. There we go. One more little tap. Oh, I think it's good. Tighten up the points. Everything's been a struggle with this guy because it's been so long since I took anything apart, eh? Now, where's that cute little screen cover? Nothing's easy, guys. 
There we go. Holy. And in there like that. Good. So we're ready there. Now we're ready to stick our flywheel back on again. We're going to worry about these wires later. I think I can, yes. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Now this should just pop on there like that. We got a little socket. I had a nice little socket here that I was doing that with. Did I put it away? I got put away itis. No, it's a 5.8. It's out here somewhere. Ah, here we are. Now we need our little bolt and our washer. <clears throat> I'm gonna cheat a little bit, you guys. That's about right. Alright, I should be able to feel a spark on there because the ignition wire is not grounded. You guys on to me? Yes, you are. Oh. Whoop, there we go. We got spark. I forgot about that. Now, when we get the rewind out, you will see that the rewind actually pulls this thing in a counterclockwise direction. Wow! Hori! Now, we're going to put this, this clamp on to hold these two wires. And the cover goes on On the back one, so the clamp goes on the front one. Now we're going to turn this upside down and plug this onto the switch. That's easy to do. Thank goodness. Come on, you bugger. Can I cuss? There we go. Now I should be able to feel a spark. Oh, yeah, you got her. Man, we are almost there, dudes. Okay, that's perfect. That on after. Now we're going to put this on. Aha! Now. It's going to go onto the plug like. Like that. Wire out. And I think I want this to go on like that. I don't like these. They've been around for generations. Now 
right? Good. And then we put this. I wonder if you can see what I'm doing here. Get rid of these valuable screws. Now, there's, there's a little piece that goes on there like that. And then that screws on there like that. You haven't worked on for a year and a half. You, you got to use your your handiness. It's not the right thread. Right. Lovely. And now we just have one left up here on this cover. And I don't know if it's a fine thread or. A, That's a strange oh. Feels tight. Let's try this one. Just for fun. Perfect. All right. No, I want to work on these uh, dogs here. I think these have to be on the other side of the of the post here. Yep. That's all right. It's all part of the action. That looks like a 3 eighths. I installed this brass post on the other side. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. Just be able to sneak that back on there. Watching on the, let's get back to the camera here. We now have these dogs. They should be there. Should be good. Maybe. Let's move this baby into here. 
And I think, before we do anything else, this goes on to here. Are they a 1224? Or are they uh Okay, that is not a 1224. This is a 1224. Good. Okay. I'm getting down to fewer and fewer nuts and bolts, eh? Now we don't know how good the spark is, but I can feel it with my feel it with my fingers. I feel it with my toes. Now that's the wrong guy. There we go. I'm gonna stick a 516th on here. I'm just gonna cheat a little. I promised you I wasn't going to do this, but, okay, that's perfect. So now we have one more thing to do on this carcass, and that's to get the plug onto the, oh, oh we got the plug onto the off and on. Good. Perfecto, girl Rudy. Now, rewind. Is this going to work? And are they 1224s? Yes, 1224s all the way around. One more. And it looks like another one. Good. Okie dokie. Now I'm just going to tighten these guys up. I'm getting excited. Okay, let's should pull. <laughs> Do you realize how far we've come today, guys? Whew! I think that's about it. I'd love to squirt a little bit of gas into the cylinder and see if she burps. Do it. Yeah, what do you need? It's too so cute. Okay, this is it, you guys. It's gonna be loud.
Okay. I just want to hear it bark. That took a year and a half. 